KP Classes, dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone, this is Arit Chandar from KP Gate Classes and in today's video, we will de discuss in detail about the various courses you have at various IITs and the required educational qualifications are B plan graduates eligible, which all courses are B are graduates eligible for B plan graduates, which courses are they eligible for and most importantly, what is the selection procedure going to be? Is it purely based on gate? or gate plus interview or gate plus test plus interview we'll have a discussion course wise for various IITs in this short video I'm sure this is going to be an important one for you ensure that you watch till the end to get a complete idea on all the courses you have at various IITs let us begin our discussion firstly with IIT Roorkee wherein you have various interdisciplinary courses along with MARC and MPLAN so two well-known courses of IIT Roorkee for architecture and planning graduates are obviously MARC and MPLAN other than that there are various interdisciplinary MTech courses as well at IIT Roorkee so let us see which all uh, courses are B plan and BR graduates eligible for at IIT Roorkee one by one so even before we look into the qualification have this point clear in your mind that for IIT Roorkee the selection the offers will be given through COAP portal I'm sure you all know how COAP works if you're not clear there are separate videos on the details of COAP and how it works on the same YouTube channel make sure you watch that uh, which is relevant so we, wherein we have discussed it in the context of gate architecture and planning particularly so you'll get the offers of various interdisciplinary courses MR and plan offers of IIT Rookie only on COP portal and the selection the basis of selection for all these courses is purely only on gate without any further interview or test being conducted even for interdisciplinary courses the selection is purely based on gate only as per the PG admissions brochure of IIT Rookie now let us discuss about the courses. Firstly, for MR course, the required qualification is only BR, uh, B plan or B tech civil graduates are not eligible for MR course at IIT Roorkee. Only MR grad, BR graduates are eligible for it. Uh, then you have MURP, which is M plan course, Masters in Urban and Regional Planning. Uh, that's an M plan degree offered by IIT Roorkee, for which the uh, graduates of architecture, that is BR. B plan that is planning graduates and also B tech civil engineering graduates are eligible for MURP course at IIT Roorkee wherein the admission will be purely based on gate architecture score. Uh, so for both MR and M plan course at IIT Roorkee th that's the qualification and the selection criteria. Uh, now moving towards the interdisciplinary courses uh, you have M tech in environmental management of rivers and lakes which is an interdisciplinary course, course wherein B arc, B plan and civil engineering graduates along with other engineering other B tech graduation uh, specializations also are eligible for this course with uh, all with gate architecture and some other gate courses gate papers as well however the gate score the normalized gate score is going to be the basis for selection irrespective of which paper students have qualified in irrespective of gate architecture civil engineering or mechanical so a normalized score of it will be considered for the admissions then you have mtech drinking water and sanitation which again is a interdisciplinary course at Turkey wherein b arc b plan and also b tech civil engineering graduates along with other other engineering graduates are eligible for this interdisciplinary course then you have mtech and disaster mitigation and management where again br b plan b tech civil engineering and other engineering graduates are eligible for this interdisciplinary course as well with gate architecture being considered as a basis of admission along with other gate papers too then you have mtech in transportation systems management which uh, for which b arc b plan b tech civil engineering and other engineering graduates are eligible with gate architecture again and also other gate specializations gate papers as well then finally you have mtech in geospatial engineering for which b arc b tech civil engineering and other engineering graduates b plan graduates are not eligible as per the official brochure of iit rookie so it is b arc b tech civil engineering and other engineering graduates based on gate architecture or any other gate specialized paper which is mentioned in the official brochure so for any further clarity you want on any of these courses make sure you visit the official website of iit rookie and look into the admissions brochure the pg admissions brochure of iit rookie for this year 2025 and you'll get clarity on the specific criteria for various courses so i hope this gives an idea for b plan graduates and br graduates particularly which courses they are eligible for and what will be the basis of selection for various courses at IIT Roorkee. Let us now discuss similarly with respect to the courses offered at IIT Delhi. At IIT Delhi, 
gate architecture uh, qualifying students are eligible for five particular courses uh, mainly four so uh, actually m design course is not through gate but architecture graduates can apply into it let us have a discussion on the courses at iit delhi for architecture graduates and planning graduates so firstly to begin with mtech construction engineering management offered by iit delhi for this BR, BTech civil engineering graduates, only civil engineering and BR, no B plan graduates, only for BR and BTech civil engineering graduates, this course is open and the selection would be based on the GATE scores. Uh, unlike IIT Madras, IIT Madras also has a similar construction management course, but there, there are only two seats for architects, but IIT Delhi, there's no such limitation on the number of seats for architecture graduates. So the selection will be based on the GATE score gate scorecard and the offers will be given through coap now i'm sure you know that the first offer is in the second week of may so, uh, so second to third week of in the beginning of third week of may you have the coap first offer coming in and by that time if there is any test or interview now there's a star mark in the official brochure as well because test or interview round might is not something which is for sure being conducted there's a possibility that the selection will be purely based on gate as well we need to wait for an update in that regard complete your application if there is an interview it will for sure be before the first round of coap because all these offers will be given on coap portal only for iit delhi then you have mtech in transportation engineering as well wherein br and btech civil engineering graduates along with mechanical engineering graduates also are eligible for the course uh, the selection would be based either on gate architecture or gate civil engineering question uh, 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 scorecard with a scope of test or interview if any uh, uh, so then you have ms msc research in transport safety and engineering prevention at iit delhi for this, not only BR and BTEC uh, graduates, but B plan and B design bachelors in planning and design graduates also, along with architecture and BTEC uh, uh, graduates, are eligible for this interdisciplinary MSc research course, where the selection would be based on Gates course along with the test and interview but this uh, has a higher chance of having a test and interview round msc research along with the weightage given to the gate score as well then you have masters of public policy which is a interdisciplinary course open for uh, which accepts B bachelor uh, graduates of architecture uh, BTEC civil engineering and other engineering graduates in, along with the B plan graduates as well are eligible for masters of public policy at IIT Delhi and the selection here is going is based on exam and a personal interview as per the official brochure. Then you have M design course which is not through gate but uh, B design, B arc, B tech and B plan graduates are eligible for the M design course at IIT Delhi as per the 2025 brochure and the selection is going to be based on seed examination, interview and studio test. So seed plus studio test plus interview if even if you are a B plan graduate and if you have qualified seed 2025 you can apply for this particular course and clear it, uh, clear the studio test and interview and get your seat, uh, get your admission into IIT Delhi's M design course. So I hope that gives you clarity particularly for B plan BR graduates various courses you have at IIT Delhi with and without gate both I have listed down and explained it to you. Moving on to the next set of IITs IIT Kharagpur you have four courses for architecture and planning graduates to now here it is important to note the gate paper not only gate architecture but which part you have selected that also is important based on that admission is finalized at IIT Kharagpur so to begin firstly with MR in sustainable built environment this is a relatively new course at IIT Kharagpur the MR course for which the qualification requirement is only BR, no other bachelor's degree, no other graduates are eligible for the MR course at IIT Kharagpur, just like IIT Roorkee. Only BR graduates are eligible for it. Moreover, unlike Roorkee at Kharagpur, you should also have B1 attempted in your gate architecture paper. Gate architecture with B1, that is architecture part. In the part B, you have to select architecture part as per the official brochure. That's the requirement. Uh, in IIT Kharagpur's MR course, the selection here too, just like Roorkee, is purely based on gate score only. There is no further interview round or no further test being conducted by IIT. Just based on your gate score, you will be given your admission and the offer will be provided to you in the rounds of the 
common offer acceptance portal coap 2025 then uh, you also have the m plan course at iit kharagpur which is masters in city planning for which only bachelors of architecture or bachelors of planning are the educational criteria which are considered so you have to be a graduate of either architecture or planning wherein you have you should have a qualified score of gate architecture paper with b1 or b2 any of it uh, being selected you will be eligible for the m plan course at iit kharagpur then you have uh, mtech in infrastructure design and management for which the eligibility criteria the qualification considered is bachelors in architecture planning civil engineering and few other engineering graduates are considered eligible for the mtech infrastructure design management course at iit kharagpur and the selection would be based purely on gate scores uh, with gate architecture b1 or b2 any of it being selected uh and other gate papers like civil engineering are also considered as a basis for the admission however there is no interview round or any other further test round the selection is purely based on your gate score be it gate architecture or other gate uh, papers and finally at iit kharagpur you also have mtech in technology innovation and entrepreneurship for which architecture graduates along with planning graduates civil engineering and other engineering graduates are eligible as a qualification with uh, gate architecture be it b1 or b2 or some other gate papers including civil engineering gate uh, gate paper uh, any of these gate scores can be used as a means for your admission into mtech technology innovation and entrepreneurship at iit kharagpur there is no interview further uh, for it the selection is purely based on gate only and next you have iit guwahati wherein there's only one course for architecture graduates that is mtech in infrastructure engineering and management the educational qualification required for mtech infrastructure engineering management at iit guwahati is bachelor's in architecture or bachelor's btech in civil engineering particularly and the number of seats for architecture graduates also is fixed you have a fixed seats see fixed three seats for the gate architecture uh, scorecard students so if you have if you are an architecture graduate note we plan just the bachelors of architecture we we are graduates with gate architecture scorecard will have three seats at iit guwahati for mtech infrastructure engineering and management the basis of selection is purely based on gate only there is no further interview or examination being conducted by the iit moving further you have iit bombay uh, wherein you have mainly interdisciplinary courses like i earlier said also at iit bombay you don't have mr or m plan courses but you have various interdisciplinary courses where not only br but also planning graduates are eligible for it for few of them firstly to begin with mtech in climate and sustainability which is an interdisciplinary course architecture graduates along with planning graduates and btech graduates uh, uh, of various specializations are eligible for this course and in fact for gate also any gate discipline is considered as a basis for selection not only gate architecture any gate qualifying scorecard if you are from the listed qualifications of the official brochure i am discussing it with respect to architecture and planning graduates so i have listed down architecture and planning both and also some btech graduates are eligible for this interdisciplinary mtech course at iit bombay and the selection basis of selection here so for various interdisciplinary courses there can be test and interview sometimes only interview also so once you complete your application then you will get an update for few of these courses for example mtech technology and development mtech in educational technology they have already mentioned the date for the interview and examination round as well so do check the official website of iit bombay if you are interested in these interdisciplinary courses and if you are applying for it uh, before the closing date we have a separate video on our youtube channel where we discussed about the closing date for application of various iits if you have applied into it you can also check the official website of iit bombay to be updated with respect to the exam date because they conduct individual exam and interview uh, at the campus of iit bombay you need to go there for the interview so then you have mtech in educational technology wherein uh, b plan graduates are not mentioned as the eligible qualification architecture graduates b tech in various disciplines with any gate question any gate scorecard can apply for this mtech educational technology uh, course at iid bombay wherein the selection is based on gate plus some weightage given to the interview round as well then you have mtech in geo informatics and natural resources engineering for which architecture graduates planning graduates and btech graduates uh with some spe some spe some specializations of gate gate paper are eligible for the admission 
gate architecture and some other listed specializations are allowed are considered for the admission of mtech and geoinformatics at iit bombay then you have mtech in technology and development at iit bombay for which architecture graduates planning graduates and various other btech graduates are eligible for the application with any valid gate scorecard of any discipline they can apply for this interdisciplinary course but there is going to be further interview rounds and test rounds at iit bombay for the course specific uh, understanding of the student then finally we have iit madras wherein there are two relevant courses for architecture graduates these are not uh, uh, b plan that is planning graduates are not eligible for the courses at iit madras there are two courses there is mtech in civil engineering with specialization of building technology construction materials and management wherein you have two seats uh, reserved for the gate architecture scorecard students so for so the eligibility qualification is either btech in civil engineering or bachelor's in architecture for students with bachelor's in architecture and those who have qualified gate architecture paper there are two seats uh, particularly for them the remaining eight seats are the are for the civil engineering graduates similarly you have mtech in civil engineering with specialization of transportation engineering again wherein uh, two seats are for architecture graduates with gate architecture scorecard the remaining eight seats for are for the other engineering disciplines like civil engineering mainly so uh, from architecture specific courses at iit madras these are the two uh, specializations of mtech civil but that is building technology construction materials and management and transportation engineering both for both of which the selection is purely based on gate only there is no further interview or exam conducted at iit madras and there are two seats only so you have to be amongst the top or top rankers of the gate to generally get seat into iit madras because there are only two seats for architects not more than that uh, i hope this video was helpful for the graduates of architecture and planning particularly to get an idea as to what are the various courses of MR, M plan and interdisciplinary MTech courses they have uh, with MTech civil engineering as well in some IITs including IIT Madras, Delhi, Bombay, Kharagpur. So we have a discussion on all the IITs and the eligible qualifications and most importantly the admission process. So I hope this, was an, uh, this video was helpful for you. For more such important updates from architecture and planning uh, uh, point of view, do stay subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you.